I want to get straight into whether the milestones that you've reached in this vaccination rollout have led you to update any of your economic forecasts at all. Thank you, Yusuf, and thank you to the audience. Yes, uh, our forecasts are better. The, the fast vaccination in Israel is probably the leader uh, in terms of the rate of vaccination per capita uh, is definitely giving us a, a light at the end of the tunnel for this uh, process. Uh, we are certainly seeing ourselves uh, towards the second quarter being in uh, almost opening uh, the economy in, as much as one can. And, and this is definitely has uptick our forecast as long as that process uh, continues. Having said that, at the same time, the mutations uh, and the morbidity rates, are, it takes longer to uh, bring them down. And, and so one cannot be completely complacent, complacent about it. Yeah. And enforcement here is very important as well. The major debate right now is around stimulus, around accommodation. Uh, as Israel sort of accelerates its recovery from the coronavirus, are you of the view that some of these emergency measures should be wound down sooner rather than later? So first of all, the Bank of Israel has been at the forefront uh, in terms of uh, saying it's very important to have fiscal support at the, at the early stages, and we, we've been involved in, in almost all of them. Uh, right now, uh, it's, and, and, and in all of those, we, we made uh, the distinction that it's important to make them very targeted uh, as opposed to uh, just universal. Uh, the current plan is still an incomplete, so I won't go into details on, on that. But as we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, as we are seeing uh, the economy bouncing back, and one has to recognize along all the way, the Israeli economy has shown its dynamic, its agility. We saw the number com numbers coming out of the summer and early fall better than we expected. That's partly why we are seeing an uptick in our forecasts. Therefore, the emphasis mm -hmm. we think should be on growth engines that will only provide even a bigger move into their recovery. Governor, the shekel, let's talk about that. It's week in one, about 5% in the span of two weeks. That comes after uh, the central bank decided to step in with an unprecedented uh, FX intervention program. Uh, I listened to the folks at the IMF, and they're saying, you know what, these kinds of measures should be limited. Were you caught a little bit by surprise by the scale of the move in the currency market? So, first of all, the shekel has appreciated in many ways during 2020 and early 2021, partly to, due to good reasons, reflecting how people are seeing the Israeli economy as being strong. Large uh, current account surplus, large FDI, buyouts of many high-tech companies, the high-tech sector has shielded the Israeli economy in many ways out of this crisis. And, and see, these are all good reasons, yet... This is a crisis period. A crisis period requires uh, unique, it's a unique crisis. It requires unique measures, strong measures. There's a lot of uncertainty. Even as we're exiting out of it, there are many temporary factors. For example, our imports, it's, imports have shrunk by 16%. Some of them will come back as we're exiting this. So in lieu of this, we opted to, and this announcement that we made about the purchases supposed to provide a certainty in a very uncertain environment about our commitment and the scope of doing yeah. this. This is consistent with our monetary policy, supporting inflation targeting, and yet taking sure. measure, precautionary measures of possibly overappreciation that will damage the economy. Governor, in terms of the economy's resilience, I mean, it is dependent on tech, and there is a vigorous debate on the way right now about froth in tech about the extra extraordinary developments of the GameStop saga and the potential disruptions that could come from that. Uh, are you concerned at this point about these developments? I, I think uh, as a central banker, I, I, I'm very careful about uh, talking specifics about the market. But in general, markets are forward looking. And uh, in many ways, also some of the steps that have been done the, uh, by central banks as well as the fiscal stimulus allows the market to uh, perhaps uh, look beyond the current situation. Uh, first, they provide support to the economy in real sense. They also provide, uh, in many ways, 
allow the market to overlook the current situation, as I mentioned, and to look into uh, forward looking as to where the economy will be. And there is a lot of emphasis as we're seeing in terms of labor reallocation towards tech. And that's what the market is, is yeah. looking at. And that's the reason for the possible right. separation. Just uh, having said that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly be, want to be in a position yeah. saying where it should be at this point. Governor, just briefly a question from one of our viewers uh, just came in on the IB. How much weight do you place on calls from the export high-tech sectors that the shekel is too strong? Is the Bank of Israel in a position to address these concerns or not? Uh, the Bank of Israel is independent. At the same time, we always uh, have conversations uh, with all uh, of the members of the economy. Our analysis about our steps encompasses all aspects of the economy. And, and the steps that I mentioned about the FX uh, takes that into account. And that's true not just about the FX. It's true about all the arsenal of tools. We've uh, done uh, enormous amount of monetary steps along uh, this crisis. Uh, it's part of our uh, enlarged arsenal of tools. And these have been partly uh, developed here, but partly also the outcome of where we've seen the need, for example, supporting SMEs. That has been a very, I, I view them as a vulnerable point, and we've taken many steps uh, to support that. So yeah. on the one hand, we, we have contacts with all of the economy. I think it's important. At the same time, we make our steps according to our professional analysis.